Hey guys, my name's Mark from MCB Gaming here, and welcome back to another video. And well, it's that time of the year again. Almost better than Christmas time, St. Paddy's Day is in 4th of July. It's E3 season. So, it's less than a week actually, till E3 kicks off with Microsoft. And well, today we'll be predicting some Microsoft stuff. Now, as a gamer, this is a very exciting time of the year for me. It, it's Gaming is practically my second passion besides music. And well, it, it's really cool, especially the fact we can see new games like Halo and Gears and just whatever the hell thrown at us. So that's what we'll do ex exactly today. And yeah, I mean, it's super exciting. I'm even having a little watch party, which is kind of cringy with some friends, but these friends are some old buddies of mine that I know in real life that I've been playing Xbox for the last, well, since probably 2012 Minecraft days. So it's kind of a fun little thing we do now. I kicked it off last year. I'm doing it again for a second time this year. Yeah, I probably sh I'm show I'm gonna show you guys a little picture of the invite I made. It's kind of for memes, but you know what? Who cares? Let's get into it. So, let's first talk talk about Microsoft. And this year, it might be the biggest convention in a presentation we might see this year, especially with the absence of Sony. So, and this is their year to shine, which I see no doubt. Let's kick off on the first prediction, which is probably my favorite in my certain department. I'm gonna be talking about, which is Halo Infinite. So. Halo Infinite was shown last year for the first time at E3, just a little uh, snippet of what it would look like, kind of like a concept of the design and like their approach they're going with Infinite, which was exciting. We, we got the trailer, I have no clue what it was at first. I remember watching it with my friends, I had no clue, I thought it was like some something for Ark or a new survival game, which is cool. And then I start getting the hints, like, oh, there's some soldiers right there. Ooh, there's some weird thing in the water. What's that? Holy shit, it's Master Chief. So the big question for this year is what is 3 for 3 going to show us with Infinite? So my first prediction is we're going to see some sort of campaign trailer that lets us know what's going on with the story in Infinite. I mean last year we got a little snippet that hey this is the game we're making but we're not going to really show you much and really from that point we really haven't got much information besides you know split screens coming back, a more you know classic art style approach, black undersuits, just little things like that that were, they recognize that they didn't do in the previous Halo game, Halo 5 Guardians and that they're going to do it in this game to make it much better. But really, otherwise, we have no idea what is going to be coming for us story-wise. And yeah, so I'm definitely putting my bets that we're going to see something that's going to be talking about a little trailer that's going to talk about the story. That's probably the most obvious thing we're going to get this year. Then, this is when we're going a little bit deeper into these predictions. I guess someone like Bonnie Ross or Frank O'Connor or who knows, maybe Grim Brother 1, who knows, would come out on the stage and talk to the audience a little bit more about Halo Infinite and some things we should expect release date and possibly some gameplay. I'm guaranteeing you guys we might see some sort of release date. Maybe in the trailer we might see little like things of gameplay, but we might actually get to see like a campaign, like a little concept mission that they might show us and hopefully we'll get some good old classic gameplay. My god, I'll be killed for that. Fans have been waiting for information with Infant during this great Halo drought. I mean my tongue is drier than the bones of a skeleton. I'd also guess we'll hear more about Halo Outpost Discovery, possibly. I'm hoping that 343 will tell us when infinite flight testing will start sometime in 2019. Now, Hidden XP, another Halo YouTuber much bigger than I am. I mean, that's a really good possibility that we were going to be able to play infinite by the end of this year. They're going to be, they even said they're going to give us some flight testing we, our players could use. They're doing it for the MCC, also for the Reach coming to MCC. So I have no doubt in my mind we will be getting to play infinite and give us our feedback as fans. So infinite can have the best launch possible. Another thing I think Microsoft will definitely reveal this year is the next generation of consoles. Now this is pretty much the last year of Xbox One and this and PS4 and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to guess we're going to see finally some new of these, the Scarlet and Anaconda, whatever the hell they're naming the consoles this year, the co-names that they are giving them. I'd assume one of the big talking points for the consoles this year would once again be power. Power is always a thing, like let's see how far we can take the limits with the consoles. Which honestly, this might be the last year we might actually be having consoles, which is Kind of crazy to think, but everything is slowly becoming more like PC, especially with Xbox and the way it's kind of been, um, its service has kind of been surrounded, especially with the games moving to Steam, like MCC, and it's going to be on Steam soon, and you know, the Xbox Play Anywhere, so it's more, coming more like Xbox is kind of becoming a PC gaming service, if anything. I also think we'll hear them if they talk about the next gen consoles with the release of the all digital Xbox One S. You might hear that there's actually two versions of the consoles, um, next gen, one for physical disc media and also one that just supports only digital media. So 
I'm guessing that's going to be the main thing that they're going to be talking about. Along with these features, I think backwards compatibility would be mentioned, and you know, saying that we could have backwards compatibility from the Xbox One, 360, and also the original Xbox. I really can't think of any other gimmicks that they could really throw at us with the Xbox. I mean, there's always something to kind of throw at us, but otherwise, I have no clue. I think the next gen console talk we'll hear about. Microsoft's Project X Cloud, which is a streaming service for Xbox games on different platforms to play. Now, this service is actually on mobile devices, or can be on mobile devices, as we see on the Xbox Weekly show that being demoed, PC, and also possibly the Nintendo Switch. And come on, let's be real. Microsoft and Nintendo are becoming a really buddy buddy lately, especially with the, the announcement of Minecraft um, crossplay last year or the year before. One of the two. So, guys, moving on to another game which I don't really have a whole lot of like experience with, but I definitely am going to bet we're going to, for you Gears fan, we're going to see something about Gears 5. I'm going to guess probably some sort of Gears 5 gameplay, a new story trailer explain more, and maybe just something more like the Gears Tactics game that they also showed last time. But I do respect your Gears community, and also Coltrane is probably my favorite character though in Gears if you're wondering if I did have a favorite character. Another big franchise for Microsoft I would expect to see at E3, which we literally see it every single year, is a new Forza game. And it'll probably be a new Forza Motorsport game, which last year we got a Horizon game. I really never got into Forza games. I played them. They're really nice. I liked Forza 3 when I played it a couple years ago, but I never I haven't got my hands on Forza 4, which I hear is a phenomenal racing game. Probably one of the best one in years. And I'll assume, just like the success of Forza Motorsport 6, Seven, I think it was back in 2017 and Horizon 4. I would definitely expect this year's Forza game to have just as much as its success as the last two. Now another Microsoft exclusive that I'm going to bet we're going to see and I want to see is Ori in the Will of the Wisps. Now I'll be honest, I've never played an Ori game and I'm really excited to see how this is going to look this game. The game has beautiful environments and it looks very fun and it should have gaming experience just to play, just sit back and relax and play something really fun. I'm also interested on in seeing what the narrative have since the franchise has a good size fan base and it looks like a cool global game so I'm definitely probably interested in playing picking up this game one day. Now lastly for Microsoft, I'm going to assume we're going to hear more about these new game studios that are acquired. Last year at E3 they did say they're expanding the Xbox development community and saying how they are basically want to get more uh, ex Xbox ex exclusive games so Xbox can be a better place to play. I mean look at Sony, they have tons of exclusives. Xbox really have well Halo, which is now pretty much a non-exclusive game anymore. It's now on PC, but it's still I don't know Xbox Live exclusive. Gears, Forza, and really that's it. Those are the only like big AAA games. While you have a lot of smaller games like Cuphead, which is well, it's now on the Switch, and Ori, which I would not be surprised a game like that could be on the Switch. Now there are also some talk we might finally see the next reboot of Fable or Fable Four because it's been forever since Fable Three. I know some friends of mine really liked Fable. I didn't get into it really because I never played it, but I remember it was a game of gold and I missed it and well, I just didn't really have an interest to download it since, but you know what, if it's a cool game when they show it maybe this year at E3, that'd be pretty cool. But otherwise, in terms of Xbox, I really have no clue what else we're going to see from Xbox or Microsoft. It might be a good year. I'm really betting it's going to be a fun year, especially for me with the infinite, you know, coming along. I'm super excited and, and thrilled to see what 343 has in store for us. Now, I did write this script for this video about a month ago, but since then, there's been a lot of information, just a lot of other stuff brewing in my head, especially um, with Call of Duty this year. So now we had the Modern Warfare, well, revealed to us a week ago by the time I'm making this video. And, well, it's taken the world by storm, the trailer. It's, it has 21 million views by now, but it's also had a lot of controversy. But there, there is going to be an Infinity Ward um, press thing at E3, which is going to simply show some two of the campaign missions that they did show some YouTubers when they filmed them out to California. So that'd be pretty cool to see. I'm betting we will see some sort of multiplayer trailer and also maybe a third game mode trailer, which is not going to be zombies or extinction. So and it's going to probably be something that they, they said they want to tie all the game modes in together. I feel like it's one experience. So I'm going to bet it's probably some sort of like survival or spec ops game mode. I don't doubt it's going to be Battle Royale. I think they actually did say that it might not be Battle Royale or they're just keeping very silent about it. So Expect to see some new COD news also at E3 this year, which should be always exciting. And really just for some predictions for Nintendo, I'm going to just go off right now at the top of my head. I'm better we're going to see some sort of new like Switch Pro console or like the smaller Switch console that they're talking rumors about, which would be pretty cool. I do have a Switch myself, but I really don't play it that much. And because I'm hoping for see some new games, especially um, Metroid 4, that would be really cool. I've never gotten the Metroid games, but my one friend says... You would like them, especially if you like Halo. They're really fun games. They have a good narrative, and hey, I like good narrative. So you know what? Let's bring see a Metro Four, uh, Metro, Metroid. 
for. I'm also hoping to see something maybe like the new Pokemon RPG game that's coming out later this year. I'm betting we're going to see something like that. Maybe a new Mario, like, you know, main platform game. I know we're getting Super Mario Maker 2 this year in this summer. And so, guys, that's pretty much all my predictions for E3 this year. Otherwise, I really have no clue what we're going to be seeing. I'm really excited for Microsoft this year. And they had a really good year last year. They probably had the best presentation last year. And I'm just super psyched to see what we could get with Infinite. I mean, you guys know I'm a huge Halo fan. I mean, I put a lot of Halo content, well, when it's fresh at least, on the channel. So, I'm definitely gonna say we're gonna see some cool stuff i'm just hoping we see some more exclusivity games for um xbox because it's just something xbox needs and it's just i'm super excited for it. i don't really know other way i could just put it okay guys down in the comments below tell me guys what you are excited for most this year at e3 or tell me any predictions you have um, what you think we might be seeing this year i'm really interested to see what you guys are saying so guys drop a like if you're ready for e3 subscribe if you're new to the channel and press that bell notification thing if you want to see more videos and also probably videos of me talking about Halo Infinite and what we might be seeing. I'm going to try and cover it the best I can, especially, well, until it releases and also post the release, which will probably be a year from now. So we're going to die more of the great Halo drought because, yeah, it's probably going to be a while until all these new updates roll out for the MCC. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Have yourself a fantastic day.